This is a wolf. That's a sheep. And what's up guys, this is It's Me 64. This is the map that I'm showcasing to you today. And as you can see, this is an Elytra course. And it's been made by me. Um, this is my map, my Elytra course. But it is also for you because you can download it with the link in the description. So go ahead and do that if you want to. Now you can try out the Elytra course for yourself. Um, I would say I'm going to be like showcasing it and showing you guys what everything is. So you will spawn in the map pretty much exactly like this. Um, first place you want to head is right over here. You can click the button for food, elytra, and rockets. Um, that's simple. Now I am actually in creative. But that's because I'm going to copy the world, and you are going to be in survival. Um, so I've got you know, food, elytra, rockets, you know, that stuff. Um, and then we have a timer system over here as well, as you can see. Timer system. You want to um, set your simulation distance to max if you want this to work the best. So what I mean by that is exit the world, and then this right over here. You want to set that to the maximum. Um, anyways, um, to start, flick the lever up, and when you finish, immediately flick it down again to secure your score. So this is the start. You fly through here, you take off, um, and then that's the end. If you come out of there, you can flick that down, and then your score will be in this chest. And here you can keep track of your high scores. Um, you can keep track of them right there. So yeah. Anyways, um, we can try this out. I'm not actually very good at this. Um, so yeah, let's uh, let's try it. Um, I, of course, I know how it works, but I haven't actually completed the entire thing before. And wow, this start is going very smooth. But as you probably already saw, it's quite a difficult map. Um, yeah, okay, that went sort of wrong. Anyway, it's, it's, a, it's supposed to be really, really difficult. Um, I could make an easy one, but I decided to make a hard one because, you know, I want to sort of challenge you. Um, I'm going a bit too fast right here. Anyway, my advantage is that I already know where everything is and how I need to go from one place to the next. But the idea is that when you're playing this for the first time, you won't know that. And yeah, that's a really hard part. Because there's two main really, really hard parts in this. Um, the first one is right over here. Because this is a really steep incline. As you can see, I did not make that. I crashed against that hoop. But this part is really hard um, to do in one go. Anyway, then here you're in a bit of a nicer part. Uh, go up here just like that through there and as you can see in some places where you have to make sharp turns there are going to be arrows to sort of guide you um, to exactly where you need to go now we are nearing another very hard part and wow did that really smooth that here this is really hard uh, you go through the roof now of course I know where everything is already in this but Ooh, I think I hit the top there, but yeah, okay. Anyways, we can go through here, and as you see at the end, you're going through the blue hoops. It's not that the blue hoops are easier or harder, it's just solely to um, avoid confusion. And I just flew over that blue line. Um, it's just to avoid confusion because um, you fly over that area over there, and that can get quite confusing where you need to fly into. And then finally, when you fly through the suit, boom, it's done. Um, and then we can do a timed one as well. So, go flick that up, timer starts, and then we can go for it. Um, it's probably not going to go as well as it did last time because last time I've never done it that well before. Um, let's go. Yep, I missed that one. Okay. 
I'm gonna go through it backwards than this way. Ah. Yeah, I just stood there too. Um, as I said, I was surprised how well it went last time. Just missed one, didn't I? There we go. Wow, I um, fell. Yeah, so this isn't going too well. Anyway, it's just for the idea, and we can fly back up to the top. Um, and then once we're over here, you can see that our score right now is 20, um, 21, and we can just dump that back in there. And you can note your high scores by writing down that book. Um, oh, anyway, that's pretty much a complete showcase of, of this map. Anyways, now I'm going to try and complete a real timed run, and that's going to be my high score. I'm going to write it down in here, and then um, you guys can see if you can beat it. See if you guys can beat my high score. Anyways, here we go. Ooh. Yep, okay. Um, that didn't go so well. <laughs> Attempt number two. Uh, where am I? Okay, let's try that again. Oh yeah, I need to reset the timer. Okay, timer starts, and there we go. There we go. This time it's going a lot better. Yeah, that went very wrong. Yeah. And then we can stop the timer, get that out, and then start the timer again, and we're off. There we go, nice, nice, nice. Okay, that's not very good. Oh, this is not going well at all. <laughs> yeah, that's not going well, no. Yep, there okay. Um, you know, I feel like yeah, I'm just gonna make a death montage of this, um, and then you guys can, uh, and then I, I'm gonna make a death montage of me trying to get um, the high score, and then I'll also show you guys the one in which I, uh, in which I got that high score.
39. That is not bad at all. I'm pretty happy with that. However, that did end up taking me over half an hour. And I actually recorded for the biggest part of that. So I think that I'm just going to upload that to my second channel. And if you want to watch that, there will be a link to that down in the description as well. Anyways, um, download the map and beat my high score of 39. Or play on here with your friends. With your friends and race to see who can complete this the fastest. Anyways, enough from me. Um, enjoy the map and I hope to see you again in the next one. Bye-bye.